Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, I want to provide a demonstration or solution of our previous challenge, which uh, got you familiar with pointer syntax, the concept of a pointer, signing an address to a pointer, and then displaying a some output for a pointer. So let's bring up code blocks and we're going to create a new project, a new C project, uh, that will just be called Pointer Basics because it's going to do the basics of pointers. So we know how to do all of this. We're going to select console application, go, make sure we have C, and just call this um, Pointer Basics. This pointer concept is really, really important. So we're starting off slow and um, going on from there. So here we go, here we have our main. Now all we, we want to do is we want to create one integer variable and then one pointer variable, and we want to initialize both. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an integer variable, and I'm just going to name it uh, number, or num. And I'm going to initialize this, let's say, to 150. To create a pointer uh, variable, we have to, and it's going to store an int, so it has to be the same type. To create a pointer, all you have to do is do the data type and then the asterisk in the declaration. And then we'll just call this pnum for pointer number. Usually you want to start your variables that are pointers with a p prefix. And it's a good idea to always, when you create your pointers, initialize them to null. Null is a special keyword that is um, saying that the pointer does not point to anything. Once we have both of our variables initialized, our num integer and our num integer pointer, we then want to assign something to our pointer, because right now our pointer is not pointing to anything in memory. And you want to make sure whatever you assign your pointer to that that actually has memory location for it, memory allocated. So in this case, if we're going to assign it num, num is an integer on line 6 that has memory allocated for it. C will automatically allocate memory for any variable declaration. Even this pointer on line 7 has memory allocated just to store a pointer. It doesn't necessarily mean it has memory allocated for what it's pointing to. But if we, so to assign pnum a value of an address, all we have to do is say pnum equals ampersand, which is the address of operator, and we want to assign that the address of num. Num has uh, memory allocated for it when we declared it. So line 9 is just assigning the address of num to a pointer. It's as simple as that. Now, when you create a pointer and you assign uh, an address to it, you could also create your own dynamic memory and assign that, but that's for another exercise. In this case, we already have our variable created. We're going to point to that variable's value. We need to assign the address of num. Now, after we've printed out or we've done our assignments, we've initialized everything, now we just want to print out some information. So we're going to use the printf, and I'm just going to say, um, First, I want to print out the value of pnum address. Not what, the, not what the pnum value is for the address, but the pnum address. And here we can actually say um, the address of a pointer. So we're going to say p. And then all we have to do is put in here, we have to put in the address of our pointer. So here we would say address of pnum. And what is this going to give us? This is going to give us the address of the pointer that was allocated to memory. It's not the value of the pointer. The value of the pointer is also going to be an address. It's going to be the address of num. So here, let's first print out num as well then. So here we're just going to print out num address is, and again, we want to print out an address. So we're going to say percent %p, and then we're going to say the address of the address of num. And the address of num should also match the value of pnum. The address of pnum will be different because that's the uh, pointer in memory. So we're going to print out the value of pnum, or I should say the address of pnum. And then we're also going to print out the um, value of the pnum variable. And this is also going to be an address. And this is just going to be pnum. And then the last thing we want to display is we want to display what the value that pnum is pointing to. So the value of what pnum is pointing to. And this is actually going to be the type that the what it's pointing to is an integer. So this would be percent %d. And let's actually add some line feeds so we can read this. And 
And what it's actually pointing to, the way you get that value, use the indirection operator. So you do the asterisk and then the pointer name. And that's going to tell you what the value is pointing to, which should be 150. Okay, so just to reiterate here, on line 11, we're printing out the address of num. That's going to be some number, or hexadecimal number. Then on line 12, we're printing out the address of pnum, which was just allocated on line 7, because you have to store the, the pnum pointer somewhere. Then we print out the value of the, of the pointer, which is just the address of num. Right? And when we print out the address of pnum, we have to use the ampersand. And then we print out the value of what pnum is pointing to, which is dereferencing using the indirection operator. So now let's go ahead and build this and run it, and we should see uh, all these values. So the num address, just this number in, low, in, in memory, is 0060FF0C. The address of pnum is going to be something different, 0060FF08. The value of pnum, which is the address of num, should match the first line, and it does, FFOC. And then the value of what pnum is pointing to, which is 150. So a pointer really can have three values. Its address, the value of the pointer, which is another address, and then the value of what that address is pointing to. Right? And again, ampersand always gives you the address uh, uh, in memory. Pnum is contains an address. You can, still, you can print that out just by saying the name of the pointer. And then to get the value that it's pointing to, you use the indirection operator, the asterisk, and that will give you that value, which is 150. So these are the basics of pointers, getting you familiar with the syntax, when to use the address of operator and when to use the indirection operator, and then trying to explain just this concept of a pointer and how a pointer contains a value of an address. A pointer's value is an address. So play around with this. Understand this syntax. Pointers are a really important concept. Thank you.